morning everybody welcome back to another vlog hope you're all well i'm here with just jimmy this morning no boys they've been dropped off because well we've got not a busy day but we've got we need to be on it today don't we yes so we're going to tim hortons this morning because i am filming a little tiktok with them which is really exciting i've never actually been to tim hortons before is it tim hort tim Horn been, hortons or tim hortons i've been once it were nice but i'm pretty sure it were really near Really? Like really expensive, oh, yeah. God. Well, we'll go in there anyway. So sure we've dropped Jesse and Teddy off. Um, this way, up here, to get oh, to yeah, M1. Yeah. We've dropped Jesse and Teddy off with my mum and dad just whilst we're going to film this this morning. And we're going to get some food whilst we're there as well because we've not actually had anything to eat this morning. So I'm quite hungry. And then when we get home, we're picking the boys up. Jesse is going to the Steelers match, ice hockey match later on, and then me and Jimmy are gonna pack because we're going to Centre Parks tomorrow, which is so exciting. Uh, they're gonna be separate vlogs, so I'm just gonna do today's like a little packing, prepping, getting ready because there's gonna be a lot of stuff to take. Obviously, it's the first time we've all got we've gone away as a four, so we've got two lots of kids things to pack. Teddy's obviously still, well, he's not classed as a newborn anymore, but you know, he's got his prep machine, his bottles, and then Centre Packs is like self catering, so we need, you know, washing up liquid, all that stuff, and I just want to make sure we're on it. And I also want to try and get the Christmas decks up in the attic because they're still down, well, they're not up, but they're in boxes. The Christmas tree's still up in the conservatory because. It's self catering. Self catering means like, um, you know, no food. It's not like a hotel, like stuff's provided, like food. Oh, for you. You know, you sort your own food out, don't you? You can book restaurants and yeah. stuff. Um, so, what were I going to say? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, the Christmas tree is still up in our conservatory because obviously, if you watch my last vlog, we had a bit of a slow start to the new year with Jimmy being poorly in bed for like a week and he wasn't able to go up into attic and loft to take everything up there so it's just been a bit of a slow start and i'm still like getting there to be honest i know i spoke about this quite a bit on instagram and stuff in my last vlog but i felt like feel like my new year's not really started yet i'm getting there though i'm definitely getting there but yeah that's just plans for today we just need to make sure we're sorted because i don't want to be rushing about tomorrow although you can't check in until four anyway can you so well we can i think you can go there yeah, from yeah. Get there any time you want. Yeah, you can, yeah. But you can't get in your room while for. Yeah. So I don't emailed know. Emailed me as well and said, okay. uh, "Can you let us know what time you're arriving, roughly?" Okay. So what time to, are we, we arriving? We haven't spoke about it. We aren't halfway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited for tomorrow. It's unreal. But we just need to make sure we're all packed and sorted and ready to go. So I'll bring you along with us to Tim Hortons and see what it's like, and then just do some packing. Right, we're here. It's very busy, so it must be nice. I've never ever been before to Tim Hortons. Um, so we're trying the drinks. We're trying, a, well, I'm trying an iced French vanilla latte in it. Cap. And you're having an Oreo iced cap, which is exciting. And we've ordered some food as well. I've got a bacon, no, we've both got bacon double cheeseburger, aren't we? And some waffle fries to try. Yep. So I'm excited, can't wait. I'll show you what we need to rise. Yeah, bacon and egg McMuffin, but flip my big at Yeah, well, it's in that awkward time between breakfast and dinner, so I now wanted a burger. So that's all. Yeah, the only reason I didn't get one is because I forgot what it was called, so I was just like, yeah, I'll just have two of them. <laughs> but you forgot what you wanted? No, I forgot what it was, what I wanted. A muffin? A breakfast muffin? Yeah, but I didn't know. It. There, there's like three or four different ones. All right. So I forgot which one I wanted. <laughs> so you just, so just said, just yeah. Said, like, two of them. <laughs> Right, it's here. The drinks genuinely are absolutely gorgeous. This French vanilla mm. latte thing is gorgeous. Are they yeah, nice? Are they nice? Jimmy's got an Oreo iced cap. Honestly, really nice. And the, I don't know why, I like the, the bottles, they feel really nice. Anyway, we've got bacon double cheeseburger and mm. some waffle fries as well. So, I'm gonna tuck into these now, but that is amazing. I'm actually quite gutted that it's closest one's half an hour away because I would actually order that all the time. I actually prefer that to a Starbucks, I'm not kidding. I'm taking your gherkins off. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing exactly the same thing. Can you that. give us a taste test then, Jimmy? Right, for your bacon stir. double cheeseburger. This is my first Tim Hortons. The bread looks nice. Yeah. Going to be a full, full on review. Nice. 
let your senses kick in. Yeah? Alright, Right, we've got donuts. We've got cho I asked for chocolate brownie, Jimmy asked for a surprise. So shall we oh, yeah. see what your surprise is? That's yours. Is that mine? Let's have a look. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's lotus biscoff, I bet. How good does that look? That's a beauty, that. that look, that's a good choice, that. That is a beauty. I think my brownie one's better, though. I don't know, Liv. Oof. Go on, then, have a taste test. Oh, Jimmy, it's all going to fall out. Looking back at that clip of Jimmy just opened it, then he just went full force and just went and bit it. Hey, sorry, just went. <laughs> you opened it and then just went and bit it like right forcefully. I'm actually crying well after it's so funny, but Jimmy says that's got cinnamon in it. So is it nice? Yeah, it's really good, yeah. Even though after you've destroyed it. That's it's better. Like, um, it's a bit like a pretzel. Right, I'm gonna try yeah. my uh, brownie one. Right, all done at Tim Hortons. Honestly, Jimmy, how lovely were that? Sun Hill. The manager, I Sun can't Hill. Stop thinking about it. I know. <laughs> Honestly, it's just I can see his smile in my face, and it's just such a nice guy. He's really nice. I wanted nice. to take him home. We went to the one in I want, Crystal Peak. I wanted to keep him. I know. Jimmy got it back at Carrie says, "Can we take him home?" <laughs> it was really lovely. Honestly, Legend. so nice. And that was a very good first impression of Tim Hortons, weren't it? Well, my second. Well, your second time. Your first, but your first time, proper I didn't, I didn't time. Yeah. yeah first Jimmy just time. had waffles and a milkshake first time you went, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But oh my god, guys, it but was that, so lovely. The one at Crystal was, Peaks, it amazing. Was nice. It was really good. We recommend. Anyway, I've just rang Mum and said, "Oh, we're on his way." She said, "Oh no, can you leave him for a bit longer?" Boys, so I said, that's fine. Yeah, so this is where we've come. Meadow, Meadow Hell. <gasps> we both said it. Jinx! <laughs> On Touch wood, black magic. <laughs> also, I can't stop watching that clip back of Jimmy eating that Lotus Biscoff thing. I don't know why I found it so funny, but it's just how he like went full force into eating it and then it just crumbled all over the place. <laughs> just really made me laugh, so I've been proper our, laughing at that. I was creasing at you, creasing me. I was proper laughing at head off at you laughing. <laughs> what about Tim Bits at end? <laughs> Bless him, he came up to us. I didn't know what he said. He came up to us end and I said... I saw the box and it yeah, said Tim Bits. Because we've never been said, before. Do we, don't, we don't know like what the names of stuff are. Yeah. So he came up and said, do you want some Timbits? And we went, what? <laughs> and he said, they're like the little donut things. And then yeah. he brought us these over. And it is actually well. Timbits. And they're like little donuts. I mean, we hadn't had any because we, we were really full, weren't we? Sorry, am I in your way with camera? They would end up piling car. Oh, God. Right, so why is that car park fully shut? Probably. Or is that how many spaces there actually is? Because if so, then head. that's good. Uh, yeah, we've got some little Timbits to try. Uh, so yeah, we thought we'd come to Meadow Hall just to <coughs> kill some time before we go get the boys. We could only spend about 40 minutes here though because yeah. Jesse's need, getting... Though, you want to go prime, Yeah, right? Jesse's getting picked up at two for Steelers. Um, so I think we're going to go into Zara. Do you want that other jumper? Or are you all right? I don't know. Jimmy bought a jumper the other day from Zara. I might just look at it for 10 minutes and make me mind. That's like, usually what you do. And then walk away. And yeah, like, and then decide yeah, you don't want it. Jimmy is into Zara man. Men at the minute, man, Zara man. No, I got one pair of jeans from the early. You got I mean, two I'm pairs and a jumper. Yeah, I bought one for work, one for not, one for best. Yeah. Uh, so Same he got a jeans. jumper the other day. <laughs> Does and anybody went... else do that? <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's bought two pairs of jeans, exactly the same. same one for work, jeans, one, one, for for work one for best. And he, the jumper did it in a few different colours. Right, and then I've one, just right. remembered, I want to see if I can get that viral Primark jumper that everyone's on about. It was actually Ellie who told me about it and said that it's a bit of me and that I'd, I probably would like it and it looks gorgeous. Although stuff like that just never looks the same on me, but I want to go and see if I can get it. I doubt it though, we are much it's uh, been sought after. So try and get that. And then was well, there something else I wanted? Oh, good parking yeah. spot. There was something else I was gonna try and get. I can't remember what it were. I think I should have a nosy around, just see what we can get, see if there's all we need for centre parks tomorrow. Although I think we have everything we need. Um, 
So yeah, and then we need to go back, get Jesse oh, home yeah, with his Steelers jumper on, and then we need to seriously do some packing and get sorted, don't we? But we've had a really lovely morning there. We've really enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah. Right, we're home. We've picked up the little boys. One of them is fast asleep and his grandma's on his way to pick him up to take him to steal us. But I mean, it's a good job he's having a sleep now, to be honest, so then he's refreshed. But I've just gone and got his steal us stuff out ready, so he's got his little steal us jumper and then his new dowd jersey that he got for Christmas too. Uh oh, the other one's started now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what he's going to be wearing. I'm just going to try and let him have as long as possible before they arrive. It'll probably be about 20 minutes, so we can have another good 20 minutes and Teddy needs a feed. So I'm going to feed him now and then once Jesse's gone, Jimmy is going to clean his car and I'm going to start packing. Right, Jesse has gone, bless him, he was so upset. We had to wake him up, but as soon as he saw his grandma, he was over the moon. Uh, he's got his little Steelers outfit on and he's gone, so now we've got a good few hours to try and, well not try, need to pack. I borrowed this case again from my mum. We borrowed this last year when we went to Thor Park. I have actually got a big case but I thought I'll use this one and then we can maybe use the other one as well because this one's bigger than the one that I've got. So I borrowed that off her. Uh, Teddy is fast asleep, he's just had a feed, bless him, so he's just chilling. But first, we've got so much washing to put away. So honestly, the washing this week has been horrendous it's literally taken over the whole conservatory because we've just been so behind with it like adding another member into the family teddy especially when the newborn and they're like going through multiple outfits a day my washing pile is so big constantly honestly i don't know how sue radford does it like does she do her own washing because how does she um keep on top of all that washing she must do like a few loads a day because I just can't keep on top of it. So Jimmy, bless him, yesterday, I actually went out yesterday around Sheffield for my cousin's birthday and it's the first time he's had both of them like fully on his own. Uh, and I came home, right, and the house was fully tidied. It done upstairs and downstairs. It done loads of washing. It sterilised all the Teddy's bottles ready for at night and he put all washing out and everything like that. So it's, he massively helped out. Uh, but I can't actually pack anything because there's nothing in the wardrobes to like choose from. So first off, I need to put the clothes away that are uh, dried. So as you can see, this is what Jimmy did last night, bless him. He'd, we've got this one over here and that one over there. And then we've got all clean clothes on here to put away as well as a massive basket upstairs so i need to go and sort that first and then pack but guys i'm so excited for tomorrow honestly i just cannot wait for center parks i'm so excited um so the vlogs from center parks will be going up after this one but if you want to watch some center parks vlogs already i actually filmed when we went in 2022 which is two years ago crazy and we went for uh, the same time amount of time we're going for this time so four nights five days is that right? Uh, and I filmed all of that, so if you want to go and have a look at those, go check them out. But these ones will be better. These ones will be better than the ones before, even though I've not watched those ones, so I don't even know if they're bad or not. But yeah, I can't wait to show you all what we get up to. I'm so excited. So I really just need to get off this sofa because I just want to go to sleep. Like last night, I was on and off sleep all night. We had a, quite a late night anyway, because I'd, I'd gone out. Um, and I was up for like an hour three, for, from three o'clock till four o'clock for no reason like Teddy wasn't even up I don't know why I was awake but I'm just knackered and I could do with going to bed but I can't because I've got stuff to do and Jimmy's gone out to clean his car and if he gets back and sees that I've just been sat on the sofa the whole time and not actually done any packing it's not going to be good because he started his packing yesterday but I need to make sure I've packed for both boys as well so let's go let's put the washing away and then it's packing time to be the one you can trust I feel so used It's no wonder I've been struggling to find pyjamas and stuff for boys because this is all clean stuff I know it's all scrunched up but I don't iron because everything just dries nicely if I put it out nicely and the radiators are on the clothes off so most of the time stuff isn't actually creased I can't remember the last time I ironed actually uh, Is anyone else the same? Please tell me you're the same <laughs> but yeah, this is all to put away for the boys as well as bits on the stairs and all those bits that are on the clothes horse downstairs so i'm actually surprised i've had any clothes i'm putting all of this away 
and I'm gonna have to come and take it all out again soon but as long as everything's just like nicely away then it's gonna be easier just to pack rather than pulling bits from here there and everywhere I thought I'd mention this set as well uh, just in case anyone fancies it how nice is it I absolutely love it it's on TikTok shop so I got it from there uh, it is one size though so like if you're a bit more on the petite side it'll look a bit baggier on you whereas me like just fits nicely um, I mean usually in stuff like this I would like want it a bit more oversized but I don't think it's bad actually it's really really nice and comfy I've literally wore it all morning and it feels lovely so that is on my TikTok shop I've just done a video on it today actually this morning so if you fancy it you can uh, go onto that video and it'll be linked there as well for you to buy so the seal has match started half an hour ago so we've still got plenty of time before Jessie's back but this is just Jessie's stuff it seems like loads but I think it's because it's all like thick jumpers and joggers that's making it look like there's loads but I'll take it downstairs and show you what I'm packing in but I'm going to do one boy at a time so I'm starting with Jessie first so I don't get confused and then I'm going to move on to Teddy and just to make stuff easier I know a lot of you probably do this but I've actually this time not just thrown random joggers in and random tops in I've actually made the outfits up because I think sometimes I just you know oh I like this I'll throw this in and then it's it don't match not that that matters but I've just like done actual outfits for each day with a few extras same for pajamas obviously and then his swimming costumes and stuff so I'll go downstairs and show you that and then I'm going to move on to Teddy and I'll show you some bits I bought specifically for centre packs as well which I'll show you downstairs but yeah I can't wait to just get sorted now I've just done a hoover downstairs and tidied the living room so the space is nice to like pack everything I'm going to watch something on TV as well whilst I'm doing it but guys I'm just so excited it don't feel real like that we're going it's like the first time we've been on a zone we've always gone with Jimmy's mum so it's going to be strange going on a zone but I'm just so excited right here is all of Jessie's things that I'm taking so like I said I've got one two three four five six oh no I've got five outfits one that is traveling in tomorrow and then I've got two jumpers spare and a little pair of leggings spare as well so I've literally got all these outfits like you know just sorted like one day second day third day kind of thing and then I always put tops underneath his jumpers with how cold it's been recently so I've also got five tops honestly these were the best things i've ever bought it was a f were it a five pack or maybe six pack from next of like these long sleeve tops and they've been great honestly just to shove on underneath his jumpers really recommend them and then i've got this that i'm taking which i've just realized is actually mucking i didn't realize i mean it's not an issue i'll just give it a little bit of a wash because I need to pack it now uh, but Matilda got him this for his birthday and it's from Next I absolutely love it so much how cute is it and this is good just to throw on top when it's like super cold I've also got his swimming costume I'm hoping this still fits him because the last time he had this on was August and it's in two to three and he probably could have done with it in three to four for now but uh, if not we'll just have to pick one up whilst we're there and then I've got five pairs I think one two three four I've all got six just the uh, spare pair just in case of pyjamas for him. Uh, honestly, I know everyone loves sleep suits, but I love the like big boy pyjamas. I don't know why, I just love them so much. So he's got five pairs of those. He's also got some socks here. And then I bought him these last week, some new wellies. He refused to try them on, so I don't actually know if they fit him. I got him in a size eight. He's currently a seven, but I always feel like you have to size up with wellies. You all right? Jimmy's just about to give Teddy a feed. I'm about to eat him. He is, he is eatable, to be honest, isn't he? He is so, like, scrumptious and squishy. He's so cute. Look how long he is now. Just crazy. So, yeah, I went for these ones from next because I liked that they could tie in at the top so that nothing can get in. And then I also bought him some slippers. How cute are these? These are from Asda, but again, well, actually, I'll tell you the story of when I bought him these. I was so excited about them, and I thought he's going to love them, because when he goes to his grandma's, the first thing he does is takes his shoes off and puts his star slippers on. So I thought, fab, I'll pick him these up. Jimmy, what are you doing? He's saying I'm talking too much. I'm babbling on. I probably am, to be honest. Um, 
So yeah, I picked these up from Asda. I think they were six pound. Brought them home to him and said, oh, Jesse, look, I've got you some slippers. He went, I don't like it. I was like, what? He will not put them on, but I'm gonna take him anyway because he might like come round to liking them. I don't know what it is about him that he don't like, but I'm gonna take him with me anyway. And then I also bought him this because we went to the park last week and he got drenched in mud, like his full outfit ruined. Uh, not that it's a problem because it were only some cheap joggers that he were wearing and obviously I'd rather him be mucky and have fun and everything like that and then I thought why have I not got him like a puddle suit because all of his like friends have him and I've just never thought to get him one so I got him this one from Sainsbury's I ordered it online um, and it's fab honestly I really recommend this one because it is all fleece lined in the middle so it's not too puffy which I like because I didn't want him to feel too like closed in but it's just the perfect thickness and it's all fleece lined inside how cute is that I absolutely love it I think this was £24 but it'll last him ages because it's three to four and also the will is aligned as well inside I think it's called thin shillate I don't know what that means but they're all fluffy inside as well what are you laughing at? <laughs> I've never heard of that. Thinsulate? Yeah. No, I've not. I've heard of insulate. Why, what's thinsulate? It's the technology, the, the warmth technology. All right, there. cool. Here we go then. It's yeah. a lot of stuff. It's 3M, isn't it? Yeah. How did you know that? Because I've got a lot of stuff like that. So why is it called I thinsulate? I work outside I know. all day long. <laughs> I have stuff like this in my wardrobe. What's 3M mean? Your nose out. Oh. <laughs> right, so let's get all this packed up and then I need to go back upstairs and get Teddy's things and then it's my turn to pack for me. But I've got a pair of pajamas currently drying on the radiator that I totally forgot about and they were mucky, so I've just quickly washed them. Jesse's side all done and packed. Now time to go and get all the Teddy stuff. Teddy He's fed. just finished his feed as well. Teddy fed. He's fed. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad I'll be able to get this done before Jesse's back. Right, Teddy's stuff <coughs> all, well, not packed, but I've got it all out ready. So I'm taking this, which Ellie actually bought for, before he was born. It's from Tesco. It's in three to six and it's gorgeous and uh, like, really nice thick lined inside really nice and his first swimming costume how cute is this so it's i can't tell if you i don't think you can tell on camera properly but it's like a really lovely sage green color with these little animals on this is from next and then he's not really wearing any outfits to be honest he's still in sleep suits but i have packed three anyway just to see if he does wear them so this one's from Max and Spencer's. This one is Next. And then this one, Katie Kindler bought us. It's from Sainsbury's. And I've got five muslin cloths, four pairs of socks, because he'll only wear the socks if he wears the outfits. I've got a big muslin cloth. If you've watched my videos, you'll know this was from Timu. I got it when I was pregnant. It's a huge and it's a really nice muslin material. I just like to take things to cover things with, like see if he's laying on sofa or whatever. I just like some like home comforts that smells like home so I've got those I think I've got one two three four five six vests which should be fine because I'm going to put him in another one tomorrow and then I've got seven sleep suits he's in sleep suits more than his outfits he pretty much lives in sleep suits and obviously accidents so I just took some more just in case and then he's got a little hat which is very similar to Jesse's I've actually got the matching hat to Jesse's but I don't know what I've done with it I think it might be upstairs somewhere I need to go and have a look but yeah I've got him that one and then I've got him his starry blanket which he's not actually been using much recently this was like his blanket when he was newborn and then we've moved on to um this like teddy bear one but yeah I absolutely love this this is from next so this is everything I'm taking for teddy like clothes wise but we've got the prep machine and everything that we need to take all of his bottles which is gonna be not a task but just making sure we remember everything to take. Right, so let's get Teddy's things packed in his case. And then it's just like uh, my stuff. I need to pack all my stuff. But that's not going to be too bad because, again, I'm just going to plan my outfits 
day by day and then I need to just get some bits together like washing up liquid and just make sure we remember everything tomorrow. We've decided we're going to set off at 10 so we need to be up pretty early tomorrow because we need to pack the car and everything. Jimmy's just going to pack it all tomorrow uh, and yeah. blanket in because again I like home comforts and I think it'll be nice for boys to chill on on a night and then I have changed I've put the nappies in here instead so we've got like just a nappy carry with both boys nappies in so I've got a full pack of Teddy's nappies I've just got Jessie's down here some nappy sacks and two packs of wipes it's just easier than packing it all in there and then it all being like spread out when we get there so I've put it there and then I've also started to put together a little bit of a toy basket for Jessie. I did this, in fact, I've done this every time we've gone away. It's so much easier putting it in just a box basket kind of thing. And then just like carrying it with you, and then you can just put that straight in. So we've got some bluey colouring, which is the magic colouring. So it's only, you can only see it once you put it on the magic paper thing. He loves his Spider-Man mask, absolutely loves it. I've got too many hockey sticks in there. A pack of... Pack of magnet things i don't know what they are but he loves them uh, a puck uh, he, he loves this teddy actually got this for christmas but jesse loves it uh, and then i think there's a little ball in there as well i just need to get him, him an actual ball to play with it's looking a bit of a mess in here isn't it guys but it has done since christmas and it's bound to int it when it's his little playroom so yeah i need to take a ball i think i might take this one actually because this one looks pretty good I can't even remember where we got this one from actually. I've got so many different balls, it's insane. But yeah, I'm gonna take this one with us so we can you can kick this one about as well. You can have it attached or you can take it off. So I'm gonna pack this one with us. Jesse will be home soon, but to be honest, I've pretty much got everything done that I could get done tonight. So we're off to a good start really. I just I still not pack my stuff, but like I said, it'll be pretty easy enough to do that. Although I'm kind of regretting wearing this today because I don't want to take it with me now. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I can't. I wanted to tie the house as well, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that done. But it's not end up world, is it? Because I'm always going to have time to tidy my house, so I can worry about that another time. What have you all got, sweeties? Yeah. Bath time. <laughs> That's you. I've already done one. Your turn. I don't know why my concealer goes like this. Because it's rubbish. It's Nas, it shouldn't be rubbish. <laughs> Big Nas. Big Nas. Nas. Lil Nas X. <laughs> Your favourite. No, honestly, I just can't deal with the holiday song. That's the only thing I just... Jimmy does, plays yeah, it on a purpose to wind me up. Day. I don't know why, I just really don't like the song. Right, I've got my littlest boy helping me pack. Look at him. He's just so cute, aren't you? I've got a pile of random socks that none match up, so... Yeah, that's there. I need to move that. I'm just trying to get my bits together, although it's 20 past 8 now. It's a little bit later. I kind of want it to be done, but um, yeah, I've only got my stuff to do, really, so it's not too bad. But I'm just trying to get some stuff together. So I'm wearing this for travelling in. It's that viral jumper that everyone's loving on TikTok. I actually really, really love it. Is it Kaya? Kaya the label? I've got the hoodie and I've also got the bottoms as well. And oh, guys, I'm going to try this on in centre parks for you because I actually, fun fact, I've started this vlog twice already. I've took my makeup off but now, by the way, as you can probably tell. So I've tried to start this vlog twice this last week. So I tried on Wednesday and then I tried on Thursday and I've just not carried on both times. And I actually showed it earlier Maybe I had that bit in now then of me trying the Kyler label tracksuit on. If not, I'll show you when I'm in centre parks. But yeah, I know I say I'm not a bottoms girl, but these are not cuffed joggers. They're like the flares at the bottom, as you can see, I have worn them because they've got muck on the bottom, which is fab. So I, in fact, I have washed them. They must have not come out. I'm going to say they've just come out of the wash. Annoying. Um, but yeah, I actually do like these ones. So I'm traveling in this though. Kyla label hoodie with these unaltered leggings, which are amazing. I am taking the joggers with me though. And then I've got my Couture Club set as well, because I love it. I've got my new Adenola knit. I'm really wanting the new colors and the one with the hood on as well. And then my trusty top from Tesco with some bottoms, some black leggings, and then my pajamas, obviously the most important pile 
is my pyjamas because comfort is key and if I'm not comfy on a night, I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm also taking this because I need to do a little video on it. This is from My Rocking Kids, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And look guys, Boy Mum Era. And then on the back, it says the same, in My Boy Mum Era. And I'm not, I actually love this, right? I chose this myself and I actually think it's really cool. Um, so I think I've got a link or I've got a discount code, I can't remember, but I'll link it below anyway for you to go and get that. They've also got like matching sets on their website as well. I've never come across it before. And yeah, looks amazing. So I've got that. I'm pretty much just taking jumpers to be honest. I'm not going to take anything too fancy because what have we got booked? We've got Hooks booked and Bella Italia because we don't want to eat out every night. We want to have like one night where we have a takeaway and then one night where we maybe just cook something ourselves. So we've just got two nights but to be honest I'm not bothered about getting dressed up. I think I'll be alright just going in like leggings and a hoodie but we'll see. Right I think I'm pretty much sorted. To be honest, I'm so tired, so I've not really done what I did for boys in like Dooster outfits because I'm just so tired. I know it's probably easier to do it, but I've just like shoved some jumpers in that I usually wear all the time. And then I thought, just in case I do one of the nights, just want to feel a little bit nicer. Um, I've just put in this lovely top that I got from Asda last year with like these pearls down the side. I've also got it in grey and just a pair of jeans and I've got some boots that I'm taking with me. So yeah, that is everything I'm gonna pack and I've also got another pair of pyjamas on the radiator that I'm gonna take with me as well. Got to show you my new swimming costume, guys. So I got a new swimming costume because um, I needed a new one basically. I bought one last year, but I just didn't feel massively comfortable wearing it this time so I've gone for something a bit different well something a bit different it's so boring I'm so sorry but this is it and <laughs> honestly it made me laugh when it came because I was just thinking back to like what I used to wear when I were 18 19 when I used to go on holiday in like skimpy tiny bikinis and then like a few years later this is what I've got but honestly right I know it looks like not the most flattering off but you know on it's not like flattering but it actually is really lovely it's from next and it's a tummy control one and it just like tightens you in a bit it's like ruched around here and ruched around here and it's got like a uh, padding in it so it's not you know like sometimes when you get bikinis and it's those like triangle pouches that are shoved in and then they go all funny this is actually like you know sewn in like an actual pad and it just enhances everything a little bit nicer and I, honestly I did feel a bit like really comfortable in it so definitely recommend and they did this in a few colours as well they did it in bright pink which I was gonna get but I thought I'll go for black to start off with they do it in like a khaki colour khaki khaki colour and navy uh, if you just type in tummy control swimsuit on next I think it's like the first one that comes up but I'm very happy with it it'll do me for this year and next year and however long um, so yeah, and I've just remembered to pack it as well, I shoved it in my drawers and I thought I need to remember my swimming costume, otherwise we can't go. So I am so excited for that swimming pool because, oh my god, it's amazing. Last time we went, me and Jimmy went down the rapids so many times and I said to Jimmy like, what are we going to do because like, I'll go down the rapids on my own because uh, like last time obviously we went with Jimmy's mum and brothers so like they could look after the boys whilst we went and on the slides and stuff and I said to Jimmy I will go down those rapids on my own I will go down the rapids on my own whilst he has those two they're so much fun I absolutely love the rapids there so much so yeah got me some in costume thought I'd show you uh the jumpers because I'm taking all jumpers the it was well it would have fit in the suitcase but it would have been a bit of a tight squeeze look at him there fast on I love it when they have the hands either side so I've had to put all my tops in uh I can't remember what this is called suit bag thing I've had to put in one, one of these and then I'm going to put everything else in my suitcase so yeah if you're wondering where the suitcases are from the spotty one that I did the boys suitcases in is actually my mum and dad's that was from Denelm and then this is just one of the it cases and I love these cases so much I've actually got a small like cabin case one that I've had since I was 19 and it's still in perfect condition so I honestly recommend these um, so yeah I'm going to pack all of this now and then I think I am pretty much done because well I'll show you downstairs but I've, I've done some more bits downstairs so the only things we need to do tomorrow really is do the prep machine and empty it and pack that and then I think that is it and just make sure his bottles are sterilised and stuff right, I need to be super quiet because Jessie's fallen asleep on the sofa 
but I just wanted to show you some final bits I've packed. I've just been in the shower as well, so that's why my hair's like this. And I'm in my PJs that Matilda bought me for my birthday a few years ago. They were from Asda. I know they're autumn themed, but I don't care because I just wish it was autumn every day. So something I always forget, I don't know if anyone else is the same, I always forget a medical bag. But past two times I've remembered, so I'm proud of myself. So I've obviously got some Calpol, I've got a thermometer in there, <clears throat> some Piriton, even though last time I gave it Jesse, it came up in a huge rash. And I don't know why I've got that, because it's hay fever season's not in, but I just bring it just in case. Some Beecham, some... I don't know, the stuff that Jimmy mostly uses because he's ill constantly. <laughs> and then in here, I've just got some bits and bobs together. So I've got some anti-back wipes, some bread that we've not finished, some bread cakes, and then um, some like chocolate sweet bits that Jimmy's mum gave us. And then I've just put these in some little food bags. So we've got some coffee and some tea bags. I just realised I need to take some sugar. So I might pop some of the sugar in a food bag. And then we've got some sugar for his teas. Yeah, tomorrow I am going to pop the bacon that we've got in here along with an ice pack. Um, and hopefully it stays okay, fingers crossed. Uh, should do, hopefully. We've pretty much got everything sorted. Um, I think so anyway. We've got some very sleepy boys in here. I mean, just look at that. Oh. <laughs> Just look at that. All of them fast. Well, Jimmy's kind of like not asleep. Are you? You just like resting your eyes. Jimmy needs to get in bath. But little Teddy and Jesse are fast asleep. Bless him. He has had such a good night. He's been crazy boy though, hasn't he? Absolutely crazy. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you've all enjoyed it and I hope it's a decent length because I love my, I like my vlogs to be nice and long. And I don't know how long this one will have been. So fingers crossed it's a nice long one for you all. But if it's not, don't worry because the Centre Parks vlogs are going to be nice and long. I don't know if it's going to be like every day or if I'm going to do like a part one, part two. It just depends how much I get. But yeah, the next videos will be the Centre Parks ones. So I'm so excited. Hopefully we're not stressed tomorrow morning and everything's... Everything goes smooth, but right now I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and I'm going to get on the sofa. I mean, it's 10 to 10, so I should be going to bed really, but I want a cup of tea and I need to sterilise Teddy's balls. <laughs> so once I've done that, I'm going to settle down and then take the boys up to bed and go to bed myself. So next time I see you, we will be at Centre Parks.